Zahoy, ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you back to another diecast review. And today we have Roman Grosjean's 2021 Nurtec ODT Honda that was fielded by Dale Coin Racing. <sighs> Do I really have to say it? With Rick Ware Racing. It does me some embarrassment to have to say Rick Ware Racing in an IndyCar review, but here we are. Um, now this one is of course on the road course arrow because he did not actually race on an oval until later in the season at Gateway. Um, so yeah, very cool that we get this car. Um, you know, I don't think there was ever really any doubt that we would, but I mean, it's cool that we got it. And plus he gets to sit on the pole at the, um, Grand Prix this year, uh, which was actually really cool to see. Because unlike most people in a Dale Coin racing car, he actually did something. So anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the box first. Something that we don't really do much anymore, but we're going to do it on this one. On the back, we got Dale Coin racing with Rick Ware racing. Romain Grosjean, number 51. On this side, we have the purple with the number 51. And here we go. This is his information, birthday. He's actually from Switzerland, not necessarily France. Kind of funny, Switzerland, France, yeah. And the quote on the back is, to me, the NTT IndyCar series represents opportunities, competitiveness, and happiness. Because, you know, you don't get those things in Formula One, especially if you race for Haas, like he actually did. You don't get to be competitive. You don't get to be happy, but you do get to be almost burned alive. Um, yeah, and I'm not, I'm gonna try not to mention anything about the Phoenix stuff anymore, but... Anyways, I think that's a little overdone these days. But, I mean, it was miraculous they survived. So, let's go ahead and take a look. So, here on the front wing, we have Nurtec ODT, Rim, Rim Jipent, something, something, Orally Digesting Tablets, 75 milligrams. Gotta love it when Orally and Tablets go in the same sentence on an IndyCar. At the base of the nose, we do have Delara, an A, NI Steel, Illinois and Indiana Steel, uh, the NTT IndyCar Series, Honda, Dale Coin Racing with Rick Ware Racing, and the fact that Cody Ware even did a race is... Ugh. The number 51, Jacob Companies and Nurtec ODT. Uh, I'm not going to say the rest of that again because I don't want to. Uh, we do have the arrow screen that is outlined with purple and black. No, this is not an imperfection with it. It actually has a black lining at the bottom. I initially thought it was an imperfection, but it's not. And it does make it look rather sharp. It's a nice little detail to add to it to kind of contrast the arrow screen from the rest of the car. The headrest is purple. Even though the purple on this car is darker than it should be, um, the actual car was quite a bit lighter purple, but, you know, um, green light. We have the number 51, and there is some decaling issues right there, as you can see. Um, green light, as always. Um, anyways, we have Rickware Racing and Dale Coin Racing, Honda, NTT IndyCar Series with PPG. And then we have the Rickware Racing logo. Also, not bad on the joints. They actually look pretty good. We got some other sponsors that didn't pay enough to be anywhere important. And then we have Grosjean, the Swiss with a French flag next to his name. The uh, little decal is showing that this car has electricity going through it. I mean, uh, the electrical shutoff. And then here on the side, we got a big swoosh that starts out green, then goes to blue. And then Nurtec ODT, which the decal seems to be skewed upwards a little bit, but not a huge deal. Over here, we got no sponsors because, of course, it's uh, Dale Coin Racing. Uh, we got the NTT P1 Pole Award. Up here on top, we have Powered by Honda, Mind Maze, and then HPD. And it looks to me like the engine cover may be a little bit different color, maybe? No, maybe it's just the light. And of course, Speedway gas stations next to the fuel Buckeye. Here on the back, we have Smart Sanitizer, because, you know, in this day and age, uh, hand sanitizers and shit are very, very, very important, and it's a very big business. Um, Mind Maze and the number 51. It's nice to see actual, like, parts of the livery on the rear wing of the road course cars it just looks good um of course we are missing the little louvers right there but i'm not going to say anything bad and then of course we got nurtec odt on the actual main back wing itself 
and we do have decaling on the back. Hashtag Nurtech ODT. We do have the rookie um, decal here on the rear attenuator. However, it shouldn't be this whole thing yellow. It should just be the outline with that black, but of course not. And then there's your typical ass shot of the car with its starter hole and its air jack hole. Lots of holes. Uh, this side, basically the same as the other. On the mirror, we do have US WAG or US WAG or whatever the hell that is. Um, but yeah, let's talk about this car. I think it's a really good car. Um, out of all the cars that I've reviewed from Greenlight this year, this one seems to be the less fault or the least faulty one. The one I can find the least amount of issues with. And that's okay. I'm okay with that. Um, I mean, it's a decent looking car. I mean, it's a little disappointing that the paint is a little too dark purple for it. But I mean, at the end of the day, it's a Roman Grosjean rookie car. And I mean, now we're just going to see him in DHL colors from now on. Because of course, as I told you months and months ago that uh, Ryan Hunter Ray was out of a ride. Um, and the... Freaking Ryan Hunter Ray apologist didn't want to believe me. Uh, yeah, so now we're going to see that from now on. So it's really cool to have his rookie car. It's going to be definitely a very popular car because of the fact that it's Roman Grosjean. He's an F1 driver who actually has done something in the sport. Um, you know, I'm looking at you, Fernando. I'm looking at you, Max Chilton. I'm, I can't say that about Marcus Erickson because he actually won two races. Um, yeah. And there's going to be a flurry more of XF1 drivers that really don't do anything in NASCAR. I guarantee it. Um, or that won't do anything in IndyCar. Did I say NASCAR? I hope I didn't. Um, but yeah, there's going to be a lot of F1 drivers that won't do anything in the sport. And I'll be okay with that because Romain Grosjean actually did show pretty well. And he's actually going to a team where he can win pretty much any race he wants to. So... That's really it for this review, guys. I know it's um, I'm a little bit of a day behind compared to when I got it, but I'll be honest with you, I slept last night for over 12 hours, and I'm happy about that. So if you have a problem with it, that's a you problem. You're watching this video now, so it's not like the end of the world. So anyways, that's it for this video, guys. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and stay tuned for the Marcus Erickson review coming up soon. Peace out.